Welcome back to David's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making something that's easy and delicious. Tuna helper, tuna creamy broccoli. First thing we're going to need is a 10 inch skillet. Let's look inside my cabinet. Let's see. So a 10 inch skillet is usually going to be the biggest one. Found it. That'll have to do. We're going to place our 10 inch skillet right onto the burner that works. One. Next we're going to need one and one half cups of hot water. Then we're going to need one and three fourth cups of milk. Then three tablespoons of butter. To top it all off, we're going to use two cans of tuna. Drain. Next you're going to want to pour your pasta in and the packet that came with the tuna helper. Once everything's in the pan, turn the burner on high heat and wait for it to get to a boiling point. If you smell burning while you're cooking, it's not my fault, I'm doing everything right. Keep stirring. And resist the urge to eat it right now because it's going to be a lot better in about 15 minutes. What to do next is once it's boiling, get it, set the heat low and cover it with a lid or tin foil. Hey, were those pants always that skinny? Uh, yes. So you bought skinny jeans then, so you're gay? <laughs> and that's just the kind of banter I'll do in the kitchen while I wait for my food to cook. Kind of just joke around with myself while I wait. I'm a firm believer in fun. So while I wait for my food to cook, I just like to entertain myself. I like to have fun. You know, it's boring. You're in a kitchen with boring people. You're not gonna enjoy the food. What? Like, who, who told boring people to get a job as a chef? You know what I mean? Like, I'm boring! Oh my goodness, I dropped one. These are not my knives. Better put them back. Smells like it's almost done. Let's take a look. Wow, that looks good. It smells good too. I can't wait to dig in. I'm gonna cover that up and let it sit for the last five minutes. If you've had this before, if you've had this before and you want a little bit of a change, you can add your own twist. You can add. Broccoli, florets, and crumbled blue or Parmesan cheese just before serving. If you, and if you want more texture, you can add some carrots too. One of the cool things about Hamburger Helper is that on the box it says if you're looking for more ways to add a fresh twist, you visit HamburgerHelper.com. What they're going to do, what they're going to provide you is a list of recipes that you can go to. You go to their website, it should be right on the front menu, it should say recipes or if you if you can click on each separate dinner box and it will tell you uh, sub 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 dinner sub recipes that you can use um, I, I usually click, stick to the classic what's just on the box on the directions because um, it's simple it's easier and I can you know more people can do it that way uh, and I just want to help you guys out I you guys are my fans you guys are my you guys are my rock you guys are my rock and roll you know God God too but you guys you guys are, are on earth God's not here God's later you guys are now you guys keep me going doing this cooking stuff. No, not really. It's not done. It still has about three minutes left to cook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it one last stir just to make sure there's no skin on top because you never want to serve anything with skin. You know, I say, what I say, you know, I say, I say the only thing that you should serve with skin on it is chicken meats. And we're done. I'm gonna take it off of the stove top and I'm gonna bring it onto my kitchen sink. You're gonna remove the tin foil. Oh, that looks good. I wanna flip it like a pizza, but I won't. All right, so I'll put that over here. You know, actually, I'm gonna keep it on here because I have a lot of dishes. So I'm gonna just. 
you want to put the heat off, completely off, because if you keep it on one, it's going to get thick, you're going to not want it. I've done it before, I throw the whole thing away because I don't want it. Get yourself a bowl. And then hey, the last step is probably my favorite. Eat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys can spell that through the screen. I know you can. If it's this pungent to me, it's this pungent to you too. Did I say that cooking was my favorite part? I meant the eating. Now let's give it a try and see if, see if what we made is any good, huh? Well, it ain't cold. <laughs> Probably gonna wait a little bit for it to cool down, but oh my gosh! 13 minutes for that? You know, going to a restaurant probably takes 30 minutes for them to sit you down and get your drink and then get your order and then go to the kitchen, tell the chef what you want, and the chef's gotta do what I did. It took me 13 minutes to make what. It's like an hour trip somewhere else. Tuna casserole, made it, loved it, now it's your turn. <laughs>